Hello, and welcome to Moscato and Tea. This is the show for all things beauty, business, and community. With your host, Inez and Chiquita, keeping it raw, real, and unfiltered. What it? Oh, sh- go ahead. I was just like, hey, hey, hey. That's all I was going to be like. Hey, 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 hey. No, see. <laughs> I'm trying different things. No. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Oh, no, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> a mess. You're a mess. What's, you know, what's, what's in on? this tea? <laughs> I know, right? It's all about tea right now. I know. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I am good. I'm tired, but a good tired. That's good. You know, um, so let, let I'm going to conduct this okay. interview, okay? Because right. this is about you. All right. And so why this. don't we, I know, I know you do. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> um, so why don't you tell us why are you so tired? <laughs> why are you tired? Real well, girl? you already know, but yeah, uh, know. if people don't know, um, I have a couple of publishing uh, projects with um, some very well-known authors um, that have opened up their world of characters where they're allowing other authors to write into them. And so I have about five or six projects right now going on. And I'm going to be, you know, publishing with them. And hopefully, you know, people love the books and, um, you know, want to read all my books (laughs) eventually. Um, But, yeah, I am gearing up to, I'm almost finished with the second one. And um, I literally just signed a contract for another one the other day. And so I'm just really kind of, preparing myself and really getting things lined up uh, to get these, uh, get the books out there um, and stuff like that. And just stay in focus, you know, and writing as much as possible. Um, that's the biggest thing right now is just staying on top of that. Yeah. So let's, let's kind of do, let's kind of backtrack and let's kind of mm-hmm. talk about um, if you guys are really, if you don't already know, you know, I'm the SD, I'm the beauty girl. Yes. And then we have here Chiquita, the um, writer, producer, filmmaker, filmmaker, all of that in one. Yes. So um, in last year she had made, and I, you know, kind of put herself out there a little bit more. Yes. And um, got these great publishing deals. Mm-hmm. And now she has her own books, but she mm-hmm. has she's adding to this other yes. books. And um, so we're going to talk about that because I get a lot of people asking, asking me like they know that yeah. I work with you yeah. and they see they're always asking me about how does your you know, your podcast book, partner, yeah. p- partner get her um, mm-hmm. books published because they'll be like, I have a book. I go, well, yeah. she's self-publishing. They're like, what? Wait, what? What's going on here? And I go, yeah, by her self-publishing herself and putting herself out there is how she got all these um, yeah. major, you know, connections mm-hmm. and people looking at her. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about that. And then we'll talk about your congratulations yeah. on your website. And we'll get all yes. of that because that we on this. Social media. Yes. <laughs> so let's talk about how. Yes. Um, what made you decide to self-publish and how did the, that lead to the things that you're doing now? So originally, as you know, I have always been a filmmaker, writer, mm-hmm. working in the industry. And I basically transitioned one of my scripts into a book. Basically, uh, first I researched and studied about uh you know, writing romance because that's my genre, but also I write thriller, suspense. And so I researched how to transition a film, a screenwriting a screenplay into a book. And um, there's many books. You can go on, uh, Google, Amazon, and find all the different books on structure, outlining, uh, publishing, self-publishing. And so I have tons and tons of books. And so basically with um, the books, you have to basically take your mind away from it being a screenplay into an uh, author world and doing more um Telling and less showing. Um, Because when screenplays, that's kind of like what you're doing. Okay. Um, And so basically setting it up, I just studied and just transitioned my first uh, screenplay into a book. And then I went on (laughs) a lot of Facebook groups. Okay. And and different um, author groups and stuff like that and just joined a lot of groups. Um, on Facebook, and also um, I am a member, well, formerly a member of uh, Romance uh, Guild, uh, Writers of Association. And so basically did a lot of networking with other authors, joined their groups, and made connections. And mm-hmm. through those connections, I was able to see that these 
very well-known authors have opened up their shared worlds. And so I just submitted for them. And so I submitted um, one of my books that I wrote, and they liked it. And so basically they offered me, you know, to write in their shared world. So I would suggest um, try and get as many books as you can written and published. So for publishing, you can— okay. it, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You can do it uh, one or two ways. You can submit to a major publisher to do all the work for you, or you can do it self-publishing, which is what I did. Right. It's a lot of work, but you get keep more of the profits. Right. Um, so I opened up all my different, you know, I opened up social media accounts with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I got a website. I got my Facebook page. And basically, I set up my whole brand for my company and for myself for all my different author pages. Mm -hmm. And then I um, wrote, after I wrote the book, I up I did it two ways. I uploaded the books um, directly to like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and basically it takes a couple of days or whatever like that, and then it uploads and have it for sale. Okay, so with that said, that you said you uploaded the book, is there something, is there an application or something you have to go through through Amazon, Barnes yes. & Nobles to be able, yes. do they, you know? Well, that, first you have to, after you write the book, you need to get a very good formatter and editor. Those okay. are two things. You got to have a good quality book. Don't just write any old thing. You just throw it up there. You want to have a good editor, beta readers, um, and formatter, uh, and also covers. It's all about the cover. You need to have a really good cover designer. And you can, like I said, go in on Facebook or different um, Google, different design companies um, to design a cover for you. And then basically after you get your book back from the formatter and all that stuff, um, you have to fill out basically like a um, – Open up an account with uh, Amazon KDP, and you fill out your paperwork, tax paperwork, basically. Mm -hmm. And you put in your information. They set it up, upload it, um, and then it takes a couple minutes or whatever, gets approved. And then that's when you go in, and it gives you step-by-step step on how to fill out everything. Mm -hmm. With the book title, book name, author name, you make sure you have your tax ID. I personally uh, went through IRS and got an employee ID, tax ID number. Okay. So I don't, I, you know, some people use their social security number. I actually formed a company. Okay, see? And so, okay, that's yeah, good to know. Yeah, I actually so, formed a company. Yeah, so yeah. there you go. So to be self-publishing, you, you know, you, you do can, have to, you could, you have to pay taxes. You yes. got to do, so you could either do it through your social security mm -hmm. uh, or you could do, form a company, which mm -hmm. you did. And do it. And do it that way yeah. and that way. Okay, mm -hmm. see? Yeah. Yeah. This is good information. Yeah. A lot of people might not know that because yes. I sure didn't. <laughs> yeah. So you have to do all that. And then once, like I said, everything, you get your uh, information all set up and online. That's when you upload your book and it will tell you step by step. Um, everything has to be a specific, of course, size and format in order for it to upload. Otherwise, you'll get an error message and they'll be like, oh, you need to reformat this different size. And then after you get everything fixed, you upload it. That's the easy part, honestly, upload it. The hard part is the marketing. Ah, so that's where a lot of people, you know, just think, oh, I got the book up there. Right. I'm good to go. No, <laughs> you actually have to market it. You have to get readers. So you, that's when you need to really figure out if you really want to do this, because it's a lot of work. It's not easy at all. So you really have to focus on. Um, you, Yeah, you can spend money, you, you know, if you have it. But if you don't, you know, and you're on a budget, you really got to be creative. And so I really highly recommend people get a website, get your social media, get your Facebook pages and everything, and really be creative with how you're interacting with mm -hmm. the readers. And like I said, with you joining different groups and everything, that's how you can market towards the readers. So, um, you know, Facebook, uh, Facebook has a bad name as far yeah, as, it's, but, but you're highly, you know, you join these face group book, yes. groups and this is a way that, you know, exposed you. Yes. To. Because I didn't, if, listen, I've always been anti-Facebook. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing, right. but I have to do it because that's where my readers are. It depends on what genre you are in, but that's where they are. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because when you have a website, at the end of the day, you want people to go to your website to buy your book or go to Amazon or Barnes & Noble right. or Kobo. But the reason I say go to these different social media pages and post and talk to readers, what you want to do is you want to put your link for your website in there when you mm. post on these different social media pages because what happens is 
they basically go back to your website. And in your website, depending on who you go with with your website, you can see where the traffic is coming from Uh. to know where your readers are, what country they're coming from, where they're going to buy the book. So then that will help you in your marketing down the road. Absolutely. So there. So this is, a, you know, you guys, um, she's basically saying that, you know, you can self publish, mm-hmm. but it has to be something you really want. Yes. You have to market like it's like a you, you know, you're self, you're a writer, mm-hmm. you're running a business. Yes. You're marketing yourself. You know, she mm-hmm. recommends these Facebook pages interacting with um, get a, how, a domain. Yeah, go to GoDaddy one and one um, dot com. Um, who else? Uh, there's other places you can I'm buy sure. domain. And then here's the thing. Um, interaction with the readers. readers. Yes. So do you respond to your readers? How do you get reviews? Do you ask them to review you? So also with that, with the marketing, you want to join a lot of different group promos with other authors. So like go to different websites like Book Sprout, Book Funnel. Um, story origin. Those are different places where you can get uh, re- join different groups in order to get reviews. Views. Okay. Because what happens is, let's say I got twenty authors in the same genre that I write in. We all promise to send a newsletter. That's another thing, having a newsletter, and basically everybody sends the newsletter with our all the books included, mm. and basically the readers will download it. Whoever sends my book out, the other fifteen, nineteen people. Mm-hmm have my book included, then I get reviews through that. Yeah. Very good. So very nice. So it's it's definitely a job. Yes. Also emailing different uh, bloggers, you know, that are interested in your genre and your style. You want to do that. And then basically you send them your book. Hopefully they enjoy it and then they'll leave a review. What you don't want to do is harass and hound you know, the readers right. and stuff like that. You be, or you're appreciative of whoever wants to read your book. Right. Um, but yeah, that's how you're going to get, you know, reviews by you know, send out newsletter or um, emailing, researching. But a lot of these things I found through different groups on Facebook um, with other authors. Right. Doing a lot of Googling, researching a lot of um, blogging companies. Right. So, you know, here's here's the thing. A lot of um, um, whatever what, there was. A, so um, a key element. Yes. For uh, the success that you're having and that you're doing, you're, one is you're putting in the work. Yes, and two is that you are networking. Yes, I highly uh, okay highly networking. Work. You know, mm-hmm. people like people don't network anymore. Mm-hmm. They just assume, but networking is mm-hmm. key. Yes, because now you're connecting with other authors, mm-hmm. you're connecting with readers, and then you know it's kind of like a word of mouth kind of yes. thing. Where oh, have you heard of this book? Mm-hmm. Have you heard of this person? And it's kind of leading into all of those things. So. I think that's really important because, um, like I said, I have um, people are always like, oh, mm-hmm. you, you know, I see, you know, your podcast partner. She's mm-hmm. like, she has all the. I was like, I don't know. She's so bold. I don't know what she be doing. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm in here waxing. <laughs> so we decided to mm-hmm. do this. So that way people understand. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, you know, how to self kind of mm-hmm. self publish and what it does it take? Do you have the yes. commitment in the heart mm-hmm. to sit there exactly. and do your social media, mm-hmm. um, do all the networking, yeah. joining these Facebook pages yes, and downloading different apps to do the design? Yes. Because it's not just covers. You also want to create teasers and graphics. And so, like, I have different apps. I have different accounts with, like, BookBrush. Um what is it, Canva? And so I make my own uh, creative graphics and everything. Right. I also purchase some from different companies um, and other authors that create uh, different graphics and stuff. Because sometimes you don't necessarily need the cover to do to sell it. You can do a graphics with your link, like I said, to your website right. um, with the different, you know, descriptions or whatever. And, yeah, speaking, you keep talking about website. Congratulations on yours. Yes, finally so, launched. I know. It's so Woo. cute. It's nice. Thank I you. I posted it on my social media. Had some. We had some comments and some yes. people looking. And already in two days, I've already had um, traffic to my homepage, like 80 people already within two days. Very, very nice. You know, so it's, it's really all about um, networking, but also having people um, – just knowing what to put out there, um, you know, with whatever you're doing and everything. Also, I would highly recommend that people really look at um, each store has their own different kind of format with everything. You always want to have a Mobi file, PDF file, and an EPUB file. Okay. Those are the three things. And also, um, I just also launched my first audio book. Yes. So people can do audio as well. And okay. so with that, you have to sign up with um ACX, or you can go with different companies like Find Away Voices, 
Um, but I personally paid out of pocket uh, myself for my first audio book. I didn't want to do the, what is it, the royalty share. Okay. It's it's a headache. <laughs> uh-huh. um, but with the the audio book, basically I signed up for an account with ACX. I put my information in, and then I uploaded um, my script, like the first three or four pages of the book. And then what happens is narrators will find it after I publish it, and then they will – uh, record a sample, send it to me, and then that's how I picked my narrators. Nice. And then after a while, find somebody, they record it, and then it takes a couple weeks, and then it finally comes in, finalize, edit it, and I upload it, like I said, directly. Because when you go direct with these, with Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Cobalt, you get more of the money. Right. Compared to, I have done it in the past where I've went through, what is it, um, Draft to Digital, that's like a third party place. Basically, they handle everything for you. You just upload it, the book, and then they send it to all the stores. So here you go. So there's options, you guys. If you have the time mm-hmm. and your budget's low, you're yes. going to have to really kind of do it yourself and mm-hmm. kind of do. But so it's possible. Yes. But if you don't have the time mm-hmm. and you have the budget, yes. then go ahead and use a third party because mm-hmm. they will get you what mm-hmm. you need. So you're paying for. Here's the thing: when you're using a third party, you're they, paying for them to do the work that you can't do exactly. yourself. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, your your royalties aren't going to be as high yes. because you're paying somebody to mm-hmm. do that. But, I mean, it's like it. And you put in it's, the work. Mm-hmm. You're doing all it. Yeah, of course, you're yeah. going to get all of it. Mm-hmm. So there's options there. It's mm-hmm. not just like, oh, I could do it. She's saying yeah. even if I'm self-publishing, mm-hmm. I can still use a third party. Yes. I can still and do, do other own things. Cer- certain books, I do have a third party. Um, just, for example, like Apple iTunes, mm-hmm. I do a third party for them just because it's um, – very time consuming with downloading the software and setting everything up um, and the settings and stuff like that. But like Amazon, Kobo, Barnes & Noble, those are easier for me. So I just directly upload to those myself. Right. And handle that. Um trying to think what else is there. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think the biggest thing is just knowing if you really want to do this because it really is time consuming. Um because literally every day I'm writing. <laughs> if I'm not writing, I'm doing some type of promo um, or video um, to get the word out there. Right. Um, and interacting with, like I said, the readers or with other authors um, and setting something up. Um, but honestly, at the end of the day, the reward is actually seeing people read your book and love your book. Right. Um, at the end of the day. So it's kind of makes it worth all the hard work. Um and then, it, like I say, it opened up these opportunities for me to really um, network with all these other bigger authors, and I can learn from uh-huh. them. All right. And so I just, you know, I'm excited. I look forward to what's coming, um, and I'm just, I'm just excited. Good. Hopefully, you know, and I'm never going to give up film. And I know people are like, when is this this project going to come out and all that stuff? And it's like. I'm not giving up film. It's just on a pause <laughs> mm-hmm. um, right now. So, but I do want to get back into film hopefully next year. But I, no matter what, at the end of the day, I just want to write. So if it's scripts, if it's, you know, my books, if it's doing the podcast, yeah. who knows? It's just something with me being creative, creative. Right. is what I want to do. Cool. So I love it. So tell everyone how they can get a Excuse me. Bless you. A bless uh bless you. <laughs> <laughs> a original one of your books. Where can they download it, find it, social media, follow you? Let let, yes. let the let the listeners know. They can um find me at my website, uh Shakita dot com. Um and then all my social media uh for my books is under um uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter is three oh four publishing. 304 Maybe. Publishing. Which, and I know a lot of people are like, what's the, that name come from? 304 is the street that I grew up on in Memphis, Tennessee. So okay, 304. 304. Yes. So, because she said it so fast, 304 oh. Publishing. Yes. <laughs> is her social, My, yes. Instagram, mm-hmm. a Facebook. Uh, Twitter. Twitter. Oh. Oh. Pinterest. A lot of people don't know this, but Pinterest is another way and Tumblr for advertising and promoting yourself for okay. your books. Okay. Uh, Pinterest, Tumblr, and um, her website is ChiquitaDenny.com. Yes. All right, boo. Well, thank you for all that information. That was amazing. I learned a lot today. And people can email me if they have questions about publishing. I'm open to answering questions. Look at that. Some of them. Not, not oh, no. all crazy. Right? Yeah, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I think people understand that. <laughs> so, 
um, again, well, thank you for all that info. I think that'll be really useful. What else you got? One say? more thing, um, I highly recommend when you're dealing with publishers, um, have a lawyer or someone look at an agent. I do have a lawyer that looks at my contracts, and I truly appreciate him. So before you sign anything, read your contract. And that's it for that. All righty. Well, there you go. I hope this helps. We'll do more of these kinds of things. I think it's important. I know we do a lot of hot topics and we do it just because our world is crazy. Mm -hmm. But we will, um, if you like these types of shows, let us know. Mm -hmm. We'll be more than happy to do more types of shows about, you know, business and uh, all of that because we, that. Entrepreneurs. Yeah. Entrepreneurs all the way. All righty then. Well, until next time. Yes. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. Take a little time to enjoy your brand of Moscato and tea with us every day. Subscribe, rate, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and MoscatoandTea.com.